question. Is it time to get just a little, just slightly, ever so slightly sneaky in the kitchen? What am I talking about? Back in a second. Hi, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing today? Hope that this video, as always, finds everybody doing well and I need to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope you're doing well. Anyway, there are eight sneaky money saving tricks that I have for you. Are you ready to get sneaky in the kitchen? Hey, when it comes to saving money, yeah, it's okay. It's okay to get this kind of sneaky in the kitchen. One, stretch your orange juice by adding two to three cups of lemon water. If you have a quart of orange juice, you could put it into another vessel if you want, or if it's halfway down, you could simply add the other half of water with lemon juice. You may want to sweeten it up slightly, perhaps with a teaspoon of sugar, if that's okay with your family, but nobody you know that doesn't have to worry about sugar or whatever, you could do that. You are doubling, practically doubling your orange juice. And we all know by now that orange juice does not come cheaply. Gee, this morning, I definitely need my coffee. I have a tickle. Does anybody notice anything differently going on right now? I'm not going to say what it is. <coughs> Besides my darn cloth. <coughs> okay, now, let's see. The next sneaky trick. You're going to sneak mixed vegetables into your meatloaf. Now, all these tricks are good for you tricks. There's nothing bad here going on. Mix some mixed vegetables in your meatloaf. You could also add a half a cup of cooked rice to your meatloaf mixture. You will increase the fiber. You will boost up the nutrition. You will also plump up your meatloaf. You might even get, what I do when I make a meatloaf, I don't make, I don't necessarily make, it has, it depends on the mood. I don't necessarily make one loaf. I like to make multiple loaves, okay? For example, if you have four people eating dinner, you can make four mini meatloaves. Now, let's say that normally you only get three and a half meatloaves. By adding these other mixtures to it, you could definitely stretch it out to a fourth meatloaf. Who knows how much you could stretch it out to? Put it in there. If you know your family eats vegetables and rice anyway, stretch it out. It's a really, really neat little trick. Next, if you have those fancy schmancy shampoo bottles left over from a time when you didn't mind spending an arm and a leg on shampoo, and if you just happen to still have like a little bit left in that bottle, what you can do is take some El Cheapo shampoo and funnel it into the existing bottle and just put it up in your bathroom for glamour, just in case people want to see if you're spending only 99 cents on shampoo. You never know what people think when they visit bathrooms. But not only that, for those that insist that $20 shampoo has to be, personally, I don't think so, but that's me. Because if you read the ingredients, many of them are just so similar. That's just my opinion. Just saying, just say this. This is a pretty sneaky trick, isn't it? <laughs> All right, next. Um, this is not a trick, but this is a smart maneuver. Buy shampoos that have built-in conditioners. You're spending the money anyway. You're actually getting two products for the price of one. So get the shampoo that has the built-in conditioner. Not only that, you're saving a little bit of time because if you can't find the conditioner, you're showering and you're like, well, where's the conditioner? Where did Susie put it or Billy or whatever? No. Everything's in the one bottle. It's easier to not lose one bottle than it is to lose two bottles. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, now, remember the other night that I showed you a trick about how to make bran muffins? Using two cups of bran cereal, the real one. Who's to say you just can't swap out and just put two cups of oats or oat cereal or flakes and soak that in the milk and enter that as your main muffin thing. I think it would work. 
I think would work. So that's sort of sneaky. Not terribly sneaky, but you're sneaking a trick in. <clears throat> Next, you want to save money on that weekly pizza on Friday night when you, the last thing you want to do is cook anything of huge magnitude? Personally, I think pizzas are fun because, because they are a blank canvas. And what you can do totally, you could get like those crusts, those pre-done crusts, or you can get French bread. Have a build your own pizza night with the kids. Put here's the trick part that's sneaky. Only put healthy toppings along along the little pizza bar. Let them do pizza bar night with only healthy toppings. Maybe you can allow one little baddie like pepperoni or some other thing like that. You might say, oh, I love pepperoni. I, I understand. I love the flavor too. But we all know that's not the healthiest thing to eat. But the trick part with kids, make it look pretty. The chopped vegetables, the chopped mushrooms or, or whatever. Make it look pretty. Let them choose. The idea is that they get to choose. So if they want to build themselves a pretty pizza, they're going to go for the colorful, veg colorful vegetables. That's a good sneaky trick, actually. We pretty much are all good sneaky tricks, wouldn't you say? Anyway, next. <laughs> Don't spend extra money. Every once in a while, I crave it myself, so I'm not going to be a liar. Maybe every three to five years, I want one of those grape stripe jellies. Peanut butter jellies looks like a circus, the stripes. You really don't have to do that. You could cut down. You can make it your own. Do you have peanut butter? Do you have jelly? Do you have a spare container? If you want to save a little time on the weekend, like on a Sunday. I like Sundays because I like to prepare anything that I have going on during the week. If I could do something that cuts down on my confusion or have everything prepped and ready for me, I like to choose Sundays for that. How many out there do that too? All you have to do, this this is so easy, it makes me scream. And thank you, Steve Young, for mentioning it because he saw this on a some sort of news report years ago. He mentioned the story to me a while back. And I never forgot it. Take a little peanut butter. If you want, take a cup size like a food saver. Take out some of your favorite peanut butter. Put in controlling the amount of jelly, jam, whatever you're entering in there. Or a pinch of honey. If you prefer your own honey, because honey peanut butter is expensive. It's delicious, but it's expensive. They're all expensive. But you control the amount that goes in there. You stir it together. You blend it. Put it away whenever you want. You just take one knife or whatever you're using to slap your peanut butter and jelly sandwich together in an instant. Look how fast that is. That is quick. And on this final note, speaking again of peanut butter and jelly, why should I pay for a frozen peanut butter and jelly sandwich in goodness name? Yeah, oh, it's easy. Just throw it in the kid's lunchbox. You could take that same Sunday. You could make as many frozen peanut butter and jelly sandwiches you want for the week for either them or for you, for work, whatever. Make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Wrap them carefully and freeze. What I would do... What I would do is I would not put so much that it's, you know, extending outside the sandwich. Leave a slight amount of space. And then when you put your sliced bread together, assumingly it's on sliced bread, sliced bread together, then all you have to do is wrap it up and it is good to go. You save yourself some time, effort, energy, and even in once in a great while, a little sanity. What's going on a little differently today? Let's see if anybody noticed. True or false? Let's let's give a listen. Aha! There's background music going on. <laughs> well, anyway, that's a new feature here. I love it. A little bit of background music. There you go. I don't always like to do the same things every single day. I have to change things up. There you go. In the meantime, be sneaky with these wonderful sneaky tricks. Have an amazing, fantastic day. And I'm going to close out the show. I'll be right back. Hey, if you have some sneaky kitchen hacks that you'd like to share, please don't forget to mention it in the comment section below. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care, everyone. Bye. <laughs>